A pastor in North Carolina that sparked national outrage after a clip had surfaced from a sermon that he preached back in in uh, August of 2023 has now caused the pastor to come out and apologize for those comments. However, many people are not buying this apology at all, especially the only reason that it's even coming is that the sermon clip got posted and the backlash came in. What exactly was said? What is he saying now? We're going to get into all of it here in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to in the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, it's kind of my only option. Anybody interested out there? You guys want to know my story? How did I go blind? How do I do all of this on my ministry without any sight at all? I provide a video in the description of every single video I do. There's a link in there where you can watch my entire story. And hey, if you want to contribute to this ministry and bless me with a generous donation as well, just hit that super thanks button on the YT video here and you can make a contribution that way. Uh, it's always a great blessing. So let's talk about Pastor Bobby Leonard because this is the pastor that came under fire. I covered this story when it first came out and a sermon clip was posted that he did on August 16th in 2023. And in this clip, I mean, just absolutely horrible words were said here by the pastor. And to kind of... Uh, put a softer tone on this. Basically, the pastor was saying that women who wear shorts deserve to have inappropriate behavior happen to them. He even took it a step further by saying that if he was on the jury and he was over this case and you got the guy in here, he's coming in and he's being charged with the inappropriate behavior against the woman, the pastor said that he would allow that guy to go free because it's the woman's fault for wearing shorts in the first place and that a man is a man and you you have to expect that that's the way that he's going to react that a man cannot control himself if he is around any woman who is wearing shorts i mean it is absolutely insane to me that he could say that that he could advocate for that and say that the guy would go free he talked about how you know you could just pull up into the you know a mall parking lot and look at all the women who are wearing shorts as opposed to wearing pants or dresses anything else like that. No, they absolutely deserve it, the pastor said. And, you know, it, the fact that it took six months, and again, the only reason this is even coming out is because someone got this clip and posted it on social media. And, you know, in this day and age in the church, where, and I, you guys know, I report on this all the time, where inappropriate behavior is happening on a daily basis in, you know, big churches, small churches, all of it, cover-ups, everything. The fact that this guy could say this, say they deserve it, that he would let the guy go free if he was on the jury. He's a sick person. He's not qualified to be a pastor. Now, when the national outrage came with this, the church had put, and this was so weak, they put an apology on the marquee, on the church's marquee. There was At the time, there was nothing that was actually, you know, made, you know, no statements by the pastor himself. They put this on their marquee on Thursday, February 22nd. And all it said was that, I'm sorry, I was wrong, I'll try to do better, Pastor Leonard. That's basically all it said. I'm paraphrasing it a little bit, okay? But that was weak. That was not what people were looking for. So after more backlash, we now have, I guess you can call it, an official statement here from Pastor Leonard. Uh, this was not done in a video or, you know, actually from the church, although by the time some of you watch this, he may do this again from the church as well. I would expect that he would. Now, he put the apology statement out on X, and in the statement, he says, I humbly and I deeply, and by the way, I'm I'm going to have the, uh, the full apology. Uh, it's going to be over on my Patreon, though. That's another way you guys can help this ministry. You can sign up to the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month at patreon.com slash not by site news. And, you know, when you do that, you're going to get, you know, first of all, you're going to get access to all of these videos before they ever hit my main YT platform, because I always take care of the Patreon members first, but you even get exclusive links, to these topics that we discuss, like this one here that, you know, I got to include on the Patreon, just the way things are getting with YT. I got to be careful with what I include here. Uh, plus when you're there, you can comment censorship free on all the videos and even send me DMs if you want. So that's where you'll go ahead and find the pastor's 
you know, full statement. Um, and again, too, if you want to bless this ministry by just hitting the super thanks button on the YT video here, you can do that as well. But as he goes on here with this apology, he talks about how, you know, I, you know, I need to take steps to, you know, learn from this mistake. And he kind of compared it to coming out of surgery and that we all need to get into the healing process now. He said, you know, my words caused deep, you know, deep pain and, and trauma to many and in no circumstance can you ever make an excuse for inappropriate behavior to happen to any woman, any woman? Well, that's a big, you know, that's a big change in his, in his words from what he said at the pulpit. Now, all of a sudden he's saying there is no excuse at all under no circumstances should this ever happen, except that he was advocating for it from the pulpit. And another thing too, that he said in that original clip, and by the way, this too will all be on my Patreon. You can see the original clip from the sermon. He said, before he even got into the whole thing with them wearing shorts, he said, this is something I haven't said in a while, which means it's something that he said in the past, which means it's something that he carries in his heart. He meant, look, make no mistake about it. This apology is only being put out there because he's trying to do damage control. He believed every single word of what he said from that pulpit, okay? And the only reason that he's doing it is because there's calls for him to resign and the church is, I mean, this made national headlines, right? Not just in the Christian circles, but no, national headlines are covering this. They're in Monroe, North Carolina, and in many other places. He meant those words. So he can come out, and he can he can say this, he can apologize. And, and look, you do want him to genuinely repent. I do believe that he still thinks this in his heart. But at the same time, there has to be consequences for your actions. It can't just be an apology on X and all of a sudden, okay, well, we're, we're good now. No, no, pastors are held to a higher account. And for that, to me, he should have to resign. He should resign his position immediately because he cannot be trusted as a pastor when you make statements like that. And another question I have too, where was his elders? Because no one's talking about this. Where were the elders when he first said this back in August of 2023? Why did they not approach him, let him know that, hey, you know, what you said here is, is ridiculous do you know the day and age that we're living in today and, and what women are dealing with that, you know, were affected by this and many of them in churches, they should have got with him immediately in an act of church discipline, but that never happened, did it? That didn't happen at all. The elders should have been calling for him to resign then, just like they should be now. Will he resign willingly? We'll see. But I think that's the way to go here. If that church and that community wants true healing, you have to start over fresh with somebody who does not share this view and will not, you know, intentionally, and yes, I say intentionally, because again, he meant what he said, intentionally try and hurt women by those types of comments. Those are my thoughts. You guys can let me know yours in the comment section down below. And remember, I will have more information on my Patreon, patreon.com slash notbysitenews. You can check that out there. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, and let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we're in the last days, really the final hours, and Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but... I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord though and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash notbysitenews, link in the description, or just hit that super thanks button down below on this YT video here. 
where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.